So I've brought John down to Fanny Bay Jail and we decided to sit in the air conditioning it's in about, the car. It's about time they called something Fanny because it's always dick this and dick that. <laughs> yeah, well, it's Fanny Bay. There's a whole area, Fanny Bay. Anyhow, so we're just sitting in the car having a drink because that was so hot at the oil oil tunnels. So they just kept oil in there? Well, there was, no, there was hardly any information about those tunnels. But, yeah, I believe that's what they did. And that was it, just oil? So it wasn't they a bomb oil. shelter or anything, it was just oil? No, it was to store the oil for the war. Oh, okay. They had, like, information boards. Now we're sitting in the air conditioner. I can talk better. I can focus. They had all information boards throughout that tunnel. There was quite a few people down there, so it was very hard to to get in front of an information board to bloody, read. Bloody cruise ships, we've had Darwin to ourselves the whole friggin' week. Oh, no. cruise ship comes in and wrecks a lot wrecks of it. Wrecks a lot. But also, um, like we said, extremely humid down there, extremely, like it was making me dizzy. And I just said to John, I want to get out of here. So, um, look, go visit it if you want, $9.50 each. Make, but it, make, it it would, make up your own decision about it. Yeah, but for us, it's oh, we suggest put it like way, way down on your list of things to see in Darwin. So if you run out of time, it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. It's, if you miss it, yeah. yeah. Okay, let's go in and have a look at Fenny Bay Jail. Fenny. So Fenny, oh, Fenny I, I'll tell you some information, John, about Fenny Bay Jail. I've just got a little bit. Lucky sitting, I know. Yeah, I've got a chair. You got a drink I've too. I've got a freaking drink, hey. Go get a drink. Now, it was in in business. You or... want me to if you go and get a drink? No, I was just joking. What yeah. are you saying? Nothing. Oh. It was closed for business in 1979 after almost a hundred years, and I don't know where it is, but I did write stuff down about how there was a men's part and a woman's part and all that, and I've lost it. You've lost it. Yeah. You're right, darling. Oh. So hopefully there'll be more information inside. Yeah, <laughs> hopefully there will be. Now, okay, so we're nearly at the gate of Fanny Bay Jail. I wonder why they called it Fanny Bay Jail. Hey. Were there just a lot of women in there or what? <laughs> no. Oh, that's awful. Oh, well, I don't know. It's called Fanny Bay Jail because it's in Fanny Bay. Why do they call it Fanny Bay? I don't know. But, but. Maybe you shouldn't put that bit in. <laughs> I'm going to put it in. <laughs> but it's free to get in here, guys. And if you download something on your phone, we're going to have an audio tour. Cool, and it's mainly outside doors, so bring your hat. Fanny Bay Jail, Her Majesty's Jail and Labour Prison, Darwin, 20th of September 1883 to the 1st of September 1979. The buildings demonstrate the nearly intact features of a tropical medium security jail. Hey, kidding when they say tropical. Fanny Bay Jail, start to uh I wanna tell you a story. It's a story of a different rule of law imposed here without our permission that collided with ours and that of other cultures too, the consequences of which are still playing out today. It's a story of those taking justice into their own hands, whether they should have or not. The first thing most people notice about this place is the heat. It consumes you from all directions. It was punishment by weather, and it still is. There you are, Gloria. John's had a weather report today. I think we need a big storm today. Those clouds are rolling in. Okay, weather report. Okay. Where's your weather report, John? The weather report is 31.9 degrees today. Feels like a, 36. And it's got extreme heat warning. What's the humidity? Humidity? Oh, the humidity. Must, I reckon it's like 150 They said on the radio today that the humidity yeah. was 68%. It's only like 52%. No, I don't believe it. I believe the radio. All right. Okay, 
can you see the app there so now we've got to press next and we're in the kitchen follow your nose and head for the kitchen where you'll hear about the early conditions of Fenny Bay Jail We're in the heart of Her Majesty's prison now, as it originally stood. 16 cells in the middle of nowhere. building for miles in either direction. And if there's one optimistic thing about this building, is that they didn't plan for growth. can't fit in. They just... Another cell. Oh my god, they're so small, I can't believe that's what they used to use. How primitive. Uh, now that nowadays they've got bloody um, computers and laptops and, and, and air conditioning and everything. But yeah, it's very interesting. She's still in here? Charlie Flanagan was the first to be executed here at Fenny Bay. Sucked in, you can't close the door on me. You are awful, John. Please don't do that. Why? I didn't like it. I actually don't like being in here. <laughs> I think it quite suits you. Anyway, I'll see you later. So if we go over here, no, I better, I better go and open it up. They know he got stuck. <laughs> Don't do that. Let me out. I can't believe they still work, eh? Oh, did you really? <laughs> that was funny. I didn't. <laughs> You're awful. Okay. I'm still listening about Charlie Flanagan. He's just gone up to the thing to get executed. Okay, so we're in. Oh, I've lost it. The isolation and juvenile juvenile section. And this is really hot in this one compared to the other ones. Originally planned as an isolation block for prisoners with contagious diseases, it was also used to house juvenile offenders. For a brief period in the 1970s, it was used to house Vietnamese refugees. Hmm. Okay, we're going into the muster area. So used for the daily muster of prisoners to make sure all were present and accounted for, the nearby muster shelter was built in 1970. It replaced an earlier roof structure and was used during inclement weather. It says, it says on here, um, you should be surrounded by painted numbers on the ground. Mm -hmm. So we are. This is the muster area for Fenny Bay Jail, reputedly one of Australia's easiest prisons to break out of. Well, people can break in to get food. Like While there were many escapes, the most famous was carried out by Aboriginal resistant fighters Nurmalak. Nurmalak. Pictured here at Fenny Bay. Oh, there's a picture of him. That's him. Can you? Mm, I don't know. Okay. So after the muster area, we're going to go and have a look at what they class as Hell's Lonely... Hell's Lonely... I can't say it. Hell's Loneliest corner this is the solitary confinement block built for prisoners considered a danger to themselves or others one cell was padded and the other was not the enclosed world mesh exercise yards in front of the cells were built in 1965 using prison labor No toilet or anything in there. So what do they do for toilets when they're in con solitary confinement? I suppose they just had buckets.
Stop trying to lock me into everything, John. Let's see if they still work. You're mean. Oh, look, there's a gap in the door. You can't, you can't lock me in. So, John, what do you reckon of Fanny Bay Jail? Thoroughly enjoyed it. It was good. It's good. It's free. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. That's, that's, that's even better. It's free. No, really good. Make sure you download the app on your phone, though, so you can have the... Big thumbs up for this one. ...talking thingy and get the map from the lady at the front. Um, yeah, but really good. I maybe bring some water because it does get really hot. Oh, you should be carrying water around here anyway. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. But anyhow, let's go to our next adventure. Today, we're at Berry Springs. Yes, and um, the kiosk is closed because it's the end of the season. No, that's good. Um, we're here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, but the pools apparently aren't closed, so we're going to go down and have a swim. Let's get some crocodiles in there. There's no crocodiles here, John. You don't no, know. No, you no, don't no. Know. They no. went for a long walk and ended up here. No, there's no crocodiles here. There might be, sure. No, they would have walked up to the kiosk and it was closed and they went for a swim. Oh my god. It's... Oh! Oh, it's not wet season yet. I told you, crocodiles. Wet season pool closures. During wet season flooding, the pools at Berry told Springs you. are closed to told swim you. in. Told you. Told Increase you levels. Told you. Increased water levels allow saltwater crocodiles me, to you? move to the area. You never believe me. What's even one of their, their, their caught one up there? Oh, shit. It's all right. It's not wet season yet. It's all right. I don't know. Let's go have a look at Berry Springs, John. It's supposed to be very beautiful. What's swimming below? The pools of Berry Springs are an ideal habitat for a wider variety of fish. That's yeah, hurt. yeah, I know. Running from spring to mangrove estuary, the range of habitats here supports a species such as common archer fish, barred grunter, sooty grunter. Spotted scant, freshwater long tom and mangrove jack. Remember that there is plenty of natural food available, don't feed them. This is actually quite cool walking through here, eh? You wouldn't think it was 32. It's 32 degrees. Yeah, I know. You would not think it. I don't think it's swimming weather. How weird is that? Why isn't it? It isn't even humid. It's not humid. It's nice. It is actually a beautiful day. Yeah. That's weird. It is strange. So coming down the track, there's a toilet block, so I might nick in there and put my swimmers on, John. Yep. You do that. You can take that in there. I need to take that one. You have that. I'll take that, and I'll be back. Oh, it's still filming. Yeah, it's still filming. Oh, filming me. There's a toilet block. Do you want me to come and film? What in the change room? Yeah. Yeah, it's not good. Okay, if you want me to. You just said yes. <laughs> I'm coming. Oh, how weird is that? It's just a. Will you go away? <laughs> what? Hey? She gets cranky real quick, that one. <laughs> okay, it's hot in the sun. In the shade, it's nice. The water from here. There's crocodile oh, safety out. warning. Okay. That's a nice photo. Look at this. Yeah, get out of my pocket. Yes. Oh wow, this crocodile stuff. Do you want to go to the lower pool? In the dry season, parks and wildlife manage the risk of crocodiles entering the swimming area through its crocodile management program. The pools are closed throughout the wet season when seasonal flooding occurs. 
in the dry season once the water level has dropped below the lower pool landing and the water is clear enough to see the bottom an exclusion fence is erected on March fly weir. So I think they, they were saying that the lower one has some more risk of, of um, crocodiles. Are you being an ass? Yeah, no, it's just lower. How funny. Look at this. <laughs> hey, it's not, it's not cold. Come on, scaredy cat. It's nice, isn't it? Beautiful. Wow. This is, this is the, oh, it's nearly knocked into oh, someone there. Sorry. Um, watch out, there's a lady behind you too. Watch out, the noodle will hit Oh, sorry. <laughs> let's get out, let's get out the way. What I was going to say is, um, the water temperature is nicer than any of them we've been in. Yeah. It goes all the way down there. So we're right at the end of the wet, uh, dry season, so the wet season is going to hit soon. So and we're in the lower pool as well. Yeah, but that doesn't matter. No, do you want to go to the, the No, I know that. I'm saying that. Do you want to go to the upper one as well later? Yeah. Oh, yeah I think the upper one's nice. I think the upper one's nicer. It looks nice, the upper one. Trace, what do you think of the huge, huge, steak huge sandwich. steak sandwich? It's amazing. So good. <laughs> and the view. I, it's like a multi-million dollar view. And what have I got? That is just to die for. Where are we? Thailand? You think so? Bali? You think so? We're not, we're still in the Northern Territory. We've come out to a place called Crab Claw, what is it? Crab Claw Island. It's not an island, it is if the tide's up. 
Yeah, otherwise it's not actually an island. If you're up this way, you've got to come here. It it's is just beautiful. beautiful. We've come out for lunch with some good friends of mine, and oh, it's just stunning. So we'll give you a quick look. Yeah. I think you took some. I took some things. photos and stuff. Yeah. Have a go at this. Not before he asked, before you ask. But we were sitting up on the balcony up there, we just had a beautiful lunch and the, the view and the breeze is just it's beautiful. Amazing. Probably Absolutely what about amazing. a seven kilometre dirt road to get in here. Yeah. But it's, it's quite long. well worth it. It's gorgeous. we've even told you where we're staying when we're in Darwin. Nelly said Alice Springs in, in Darwin. We are staying on a property, it's um, five acres and it's a mango farm. It is so lovely, we've had power, we've had water, um, the hosts are wonderful people and we have had the loveliest time here. So I'm going to walk you down the driveway and show you um, yeah, just how we've, we've got our caravan set up. I'll tell you the funniest thing though, the person next door has a saltwater crocodile as a pet and I think that's really really weird but yeah apparently in Darwin you're allowed to have saltwater crocs. Mm, strange. So the big thing about um, mango farms is wild geese love mangoes so this place it's full of wild geese and of a morning and afternoon um, the cockies come there's plovers I hate plovers but there's plovers see all the wild geese we've got toilets and here's our setup here it's been great we're heading off to Litchfield tomorrow but how nice is this place? We've come down to the famous Mindel Markets to have um, lots of different street food and then watch the, the magnificent sunset. And there's heaps of food, eh? It's so much food. So we're going to film it before it gets crowded. Yeah. Do you want to walk back up that way first? Shrilling.
probably gonna eat. Five cinnamon donuts for ten dollars. It's unbelievable. So we're sitting down on Mindul Beach, waiting for the sunset and the fireworks show. Yeah, it's the last um, last one of the year. Last one of the year. It's too freaking hot up here. It's nice down here now, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's not bad with the Asian breezes. But the sun's bright. I'll turn around. We got my my um, phone capturing it all and yeah see what happens it's gonna be beautiful right it certainly brings the crowds though it does it does it's, it's, it's unbelievable oh. isn't it really it is the amount of people are here yeah a couple of hundred i reckon do you reckon? Oh, i reckon no it's nice i thought there'd be more though but yeah a couple hundred easy no crocodiles down here tonight john there's little dogs down there, so I hope they Well, all those people can take them first, so... Yeah, they won't come for me in the dark. Well, I'm going to throw you in at them first and run, so it doesn't really matter. Thanks. And you can't run as fast as me, so... Not on sand, anyhow. Not at all, but look at this sunset. Do we look cosy? No, oh, you're probably too cosy to hang on. <laughs> People think my friend actually like you, but no. Yeah, I know. All right. Okay. Hey, good morning. Hello, everyone. All right. All right, guys, we are finished in we Darwin. Darwin. Done and dusted. Done. Done. What did you think of Darwin, John? Now, keep in mind, guys, that we have done Darwin in what is going right into the wet season. Darwin's only got two seasons, the dry and the wet season. Well, Northern Territory, dry and wet season. We are going into the wet season. And to get a straight answer out of anyone up here, does it rain in the dry season, like just once or twice, you know, like normal rain? And they say no. no yeah. So they really said weird. no, it only rains in the wet season. But surely they must rain. Anyway, um, <laughs> I've enjoyed Darwin. I haven't enjoyed sweating so much. I'm a sweater and the humidity has killed me. Yeah. Uh, the water's very pretty up here. The people are lovely. It's so sad that the water is so, so pretty and you can't swim in it. You can't swim in it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, wasn't a fan of the paid parking in Darwin, wherever you park, but it is a city, obviously, so Everywhere. that's probably why. $3 an hour, like even outside attractions, $3 an hour. And with my dodgy feet, it meant that we had to walk Yeah, and we didn't, do a, lot. And we didn't do a lot because of that. Yeah. Um, but apart from that, uh, it was it was good. Yeah. So Darwin, two weeks here. and On a mango we, farm. On a mango farm. And we don't like mangoes. No. I know. What a shame because they're just right there. They're right there. And we can pick whatever we wanted, but that's okay. That's okay. So that's the end of Darwin. So we'll um, see you on the next video. On the flip side. On the flip side. Where are we heading next? Unless you change your mind again. Every time we get in the car, it's just like, we can't know, we change our mind. <laughs> I didn't bother asking anymore. I just say, put in the nav man and she'll take and she'll take me there. And we go to bed and he goes, Where are we going? And I tell him and then we get in the car and I go, No, we're not going there now. And she's kinder to me anyway because she doesn't abuse me all the time. Oh, Suri do. in the yeah. car. She's nice to me. You abuse her. She's nice to me. You talk to me horrible Okay sometimes. guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks guys. We'll see you next week. <laughs> Bye. You're a pain in the ass. <laughs>